What is the Jamaican dream? Well, fine art photographer Gerald A. Gordon um, has a recent project that seeks to capture the spirit, vibe, and culture of our people. And he's here to share that with us. Morning, Gerald. Hi, good morning. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. It's morning time. It's a pleasure. Yeah, so tell me first of all, um, <laughs> it's difficult to say what's the vibe, culture of our people. What's the inspiration behind this? Definitely, it's, you know, to capture the, the true moment of Jamaican, you understand? Mm. The, our culture, our, the vibes is just authentic. Yeah. That as the opportunity that I'm giving to document it each step of the way, mm. especially in a time like this, what better moment to capture it all in an image that it will last for generations to come. All right, so what are we capturing? You, you, you've, in your mind, decided that these are some of the things that are going to happen, or do you just capture things as they happen around you? I mean, it, it comes at a really naturalistic flow, and okay. um, as creative, you know, I'm personally for me, I am inspired by other artists. So from time to time, when I'm browsing, you understand, I will see an idea, and immediately a, new, a whole series or whole art piece is birthed from it. This particular piece, though, was, you know, I was just flowing with the models that are part of it. Um, mm -hmm. Actually, they are the Adlams. It's actually a, a real family, okay. you understand? And we were just communicating, and immediately the idea was birthed, and we, we ran with it. All right, so let's talk about the pieces. The one beside you is called In a Pandemic. Definitely. <laughs> Tell me about it. Yeah, definitely. This particular piece in specific, in a pandemic, you understand? We wanted to just capture that social connection. As you can see in this particular piece, where you see the phone is being displayed, and ironically, you have the baby that is looking up at the phone. And everybody's geared to, you understand? Adorable. But what stood out in this piece that will last for generations to come is the mask, you understand? Mm -hmm. So when. Ten years from now, somebody's looking at this photograph. Why did they, you know, add on a mask? You understand? Mm -hmm. So we we intentionally put that in the image, so yeah. it will definitely last. Yeah. It, yeah, out in nature, but get masked. Definitely. Some people might question. I tell you though, the baby, the baby, the baby is the boss. Definitely. <laughs> it, it wasn't a one shot though, but yeah. we we got her yeah. to look up. Definitely. Oh wow! Now she's amazing. And this piece in the middle. Yes, so this piece in the middle is the it's from the cocoon series, mm -hmm. you understand? Which, you know, the idea of the whole cocoon and all the process and the stages that the cocoon go through. Mm -hmm. So where you have the, the, the husband and the wife, Mr. and Mrs. Adlam, is wrapped tightly in a sheet, mm -hmm. you understand? The embracing the unity, the love, that yeah. whole, you know, synergy, you understand? That whole love relationship. In Jamaica, we're big on relationship, yes, we're big yes. on love. Yeah. And then the cocoon blooms, you understand? Mm -hmm. So immediately you will see the, where the son and the daughter is in the next page image right yeah. beside there, the lower foot. Yeah. That's so beautiful. Yeah. All right, and right beside me, after blooming. After blooming, mm -hmm. you understand? So after the cocoon blooms, you understand? They get the opportunity now to go out yeah. and to be yourself. So this is now the time for where Mr. and Mrs. Alam get opportunity to be yourself to, to that smile, that authentic smile. It was actually a real smile. They were just having fun while mm -hmm. I was just there. I was telling them, listen, just be natural. You act like I'm not even here capturing anything. Mm -hmm. And this is just an authentic moment that came from them. I like it. And, and, and that's the sheet that they were wrapped that's in. That's the sheet that they were wrapped in. Wow. It's, a, yeah. it's, it's powerful storytelling, Definitely. Gerald. Where, where, where did they, you get this gift? It's a natural gift. Or, tell me about it. By the grace of God, you yeah. know, this talent, you know, came along when I just left high school and I was clueless. What am I going to do next? Mm -hmm. And I was given the opportunity to go to my, I said to my mom, I said, listen, I need, a ta I need you to send me to Edna Manley to do introduction to photography, where I was taught, taught by Marlon James and Donnett Zaka. Wow. You understand? And then this, and even when I was doing that particular I didn't even have a camera. Mm -hmm. I just went there because I knew that I wanted something. And I was, before that, I would have started, you know, had, my brother had a digital camera okay. where I was just dressing up my nieces and taking photographs of the, <laughs> hanging up sheets on the veranda, taking photographs of them. So, you know, eventually as the process got along, it came naturally. Gerald, yeah. these are so powerful. I'm looking at this. I am chosen. Yeah. So, so how does the process work um, for folks who are watching? Can they, they ring you up and say, Gerald, um, I want to capture X, Y, Z. Most definitely, they definitely can contact me. I'm on um, Instagram at Gerald A. Garden Art, mm -hmm. and you can reach out to me there. And immediately when you contact me, you understand, because I do other aspects of photography, the business aspect, like the photo shoot, the birthday photo shoot, the weddings and stuff. Mm -hmm. But 
of lately, I'm really focusing on the storytelling, yeah. you understand, capturing the moment and documenting it as we go along. Yeah, and there's a difference, eh? It's a big difference, yeah, because yeah. I'm more of a contemporary type of photography mm -hmm. where you get to document the process because these images will last a lifetime and many times you, I would take the image now and then two years after, that's when the evil the story. And the, the, the beauty about art is that even though my ex I just gave a very good explanation of these images, mm -hmm. somebody looking at it now See on their TV, totally, totally different. different. And yeah. it brings a whole life. Uh, I've had persons came up to me and say, listen, your artwork of lately just inspires me. Mm -hmm. And they was like, what, what, what's behind it? And I said, no, when I look on it, that's not what I got. <laughs> so I said, it's totally something yeah. different. Yeah. Do, and and do, do, you, do you use the human subject a lot? or Yes, oh, definitely. Okay. I'm mm -hmm. a people photographer. So okay. I tend to, you know, some persons ask, oh, do you get models? Or oh, do you think I even will come on these models? So immediately, the concept come then it's like naturally I would just even go to my bed and I see the model in my in, it just come to me naturally like and use this person mm -hmm. or uh, immediately the idea come I know so I would be even walking on the street and I said no there's a concept this guy fit the concept should I approach him or this young lady fit the concept should I ask them if they would like to be a part of this photo shoot and many times that's how it ends up alright I'm soft man I have a concept, I'm going to talk to you about Definitely. it before. It might faint while you're taking the picture, <laughs> but we're, we're helping him get over a fear of something. Um, but Gerald, thank you so much. Where can they find you? That's Instagram at Gerald, G-E-R-A-L-D, A Garden Art. Yeah. Jamaica has so much talent. Sometimes it's just overwhelming to think that a country our size can and pack so much. Definitely. Thank you so much, Gerald, for speaking with us. Thank you very much for Gerald having me. Gerald A. Gordon, go check him out, fine art photographer. Out of the break, find out how much Nevs, Kevs, and I know about Jamaican art. It, come on, Ken. Never what am I asked to say. It's gonna be our fun stop. Somebody's gonna have fun. It might not be me and Neville, but somebody's gonna have it. We're coming back with some coffee. <laughs>